How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ed Zombert here. Uh, time to do a quick comic book haul. I've got another um, jumble of books here to show off. Um, again, I'll, I get most of this stuff from auction sites online, and um, it's it varies different websites uh, like Proxy Bid and High Bid stuff like that. But uh, anyway, the first but the first one I'm going to show you. Uh, is something that I showed on my Instagram page um, that I picked up at a car, uh, sports card show uh, a couple weekends ago. Um, I've seen this one before online, and I never wanted to spend a lot of money on it. It goes for uh, kind of a lot sometimes, but it's Art Adams cover for Vampirilla Fury Tales. Um, so I ended up getting this for $5 <clears throat> from a guy. There was only one dealer there at the sports card show that was had, that had comics and it just so happens he had this in one of his boxes so i picked this one up like i said for five bucks and uh i did put on my instagram page if you guys want to follow me on instagram um i'm easy as can be with the underscores on there um usually i post a lot of stuff that i pick up like that day so if you want to follow me there uh feel free um the next thing i got was a uh, on auction i picked up this trade paperback of JLA uh, Zatanna Search. Uh, it's out of print now. So um, it's, again, it's kind of hard to find. <clears throat> but I picked this one up uh, for $7.99. So um, I was pretty happy to get that with this nice Brian Bowling cover. Very, very sharp. Um, another thing I picked up over the last few weeks was, um, <clears throat> this isn't an auction item or anything but i was at five below and they did another one of these marvel uh poster book things they had one before a couple years ago so basically it's just a bunch of um marvel covers but for five dollars um i think they're, they're like eight by tens so i thought that was kind of cool for five bucks um they've switched it up a little some of them are duplicates from the last one they did but um you know, they, they throw in, like, anybody that's got a movie or a TV show. But I was happy to pick that one up for $5. Um, the next thing I got, now back to the auction sites, is I saw these. I don't know if you guys watch my channel all the time or not, but I'm trying to get um, all the Simpsons comics. And somebody had um, these. I never saw these before. They're from the UK. Uh, they're from Titan Comics, but they're, like, oversized. But... Um, I saw this one. It was a, it was a lot of three for nine dollars, and um, it was this. I, I don't know if it's like a special or what, but I just thought it was kind of cool that Stan Lee was in it. Um, so I got this one in the lot, this one in the lot, and this one in the lot. So I mean, compared to regular comic books, here's a regular comic, so you can see how much big. It's even bigger than like a regular magazine. But the thing was, is like, um, it came with this oversheet thing. So I got two of the three. There's supposed to be a Futurama comic in there. So I don't know what happened to that. But um, I was happy to pick up the three Simpsons comics anyway for uh, $10. Um, so now, now back to the stuff I picked up on auction. I'm glad that a lot of people are commenting and they're liking some of the like um, off-kilter stuff that I pick up. Um or like oddball stuff that I just see and I, I want to buy. But I picked this one up. This was not, again, this is an eBay purchase. But um, the only reason I got this <clears throat> is because of the back cover. Boom, Dave Stevens. So I don't know if you're on my other video of my tribute to Dave Stevens, but uh, I like to pick up anything that has his art on it. And so this is the back cover of this uh, Dark Horse Presents number 100. Um, so um, I was pretty happy to pick that one up. I think I ended up getting that one from like $5 shipped to it wasn't like a lot of money. So, um, but it goes in my Dave Stevens collection. So I uh, gotta be happy about that. And so then now um, I got a couple of, um, these are from, the Marvel Universe uh, three and three quarters figures. They, the last batch they did came with some reprint comics. So I got the Spider-Verse number one, um, Rocket Raccoon number seven, because I forget who, what was in the packs. Um, and then there was the Guardians of the Galaxy one with Angela on the cover. So those were all a dollar. Um, I figured why not. 
here's another thing that I um, picked up from. Uh, it's a promo comic that they gave away at Toys R Us. So now we don't have any more Toys R Us here in the States. But I picked this one up, I believe, for two bucks. This was at a comic book show, too, um, not too long ago. And then this one I picked up online. I believe I got this for $7. But it's an Amazing Fantasy uh, 15 reprint, but it uh, was given out at Old Navy. So, again, it's another one I never saw before, and I'm really into the promo comic. So, I, I was looking, and I found, came across one on uh, eBay that was reasonably priced, so I, I picked it up. Now, now we're going to go into the next uh, uh, batch of comics. These are where I buy big lots of comics, and they end up... With the price that I pay for them and the amount in the lot, uh, <clears throat> they end up being relatively inexpensive. So these these first ones here, I believe I got these for like sixty five cents. So I got um, Sin City, Sex and Violence, uh, Sin City One of Five, The Big Fat Kill, um, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were in there too, so I got uh, number nine. I can't remember what uh, I paid for the whole lot, but like I said, it would, these end up being like 65 cents. And uh, number 10 was in there. Um, I forget, I don't know what number this is. No number on the cover. This one is uh, number 30. These are the Mirage Studios versions. Uh, here's another one. I can't remember what the number is on the back cover. I didn't write it on the bag. I should have. Um, and then here's another one. So for 65 cents, I was pretty happy with those. Um, the next batch I have here is some more kids comics. And I'm, I'm working on, still working on my run in Stimpy. <clears throat> so um, I picked these up. These were, uh, like with all the books together, again, they were like 75 cents maybe at the most. Uh, Ren and Stimpy number 32. Ren and Stimpy um, Interactive Special. And then Powdered Toast Man. Um, I'm not sure if this is special. He, I think they did a couple of specials of his. I think that's special number two. And then, of course, there's some SpongeBob, com SpongeBob comics in this lot. So I got SpongeBob number 17. SpongeBob number 20, number 24, and again, I don't know, these are really hard to come by, um, especially in good condition or uh, like any condition, really. I, I'm trying to uh, pick up the ones I don't have. Here's number 29. That's the um, EC Comics uh, homage cover. SpongeBob number 37. Um, then there's some Simpsons comics in here. I have Simpsons number 79, <clears throat> 82, 105. I'm, I'm getting, I got quite a dent in these. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively, I think there was 245 of them overall. Simpsons number 222. Uh, Simpsons Winter Windig number 10. Wing, wing ding number 10, excuse me. Um, some Teen Titans, here's number three. Um, here's another one. This is a this was a promo comic given out at Burger King, so I was happy to get that in the lot. Uh, another Teen Titans Go, number 10. Number eight. Number four, number two, and number one. So those were the kids' comics in the lot. Then there was also some, I don't know why these were in there, but um, Supernatural, uh, Beginnings End, number three. It was a prequel to the TV show. That was in the lot. Uh, Predator from Dark Horse Comics, number one. And then Predator number four from Dark Horse Comics. Then I got a huge lot of, this is what started me on my Liberty Meadows uh, kick. I think I showed some in my 
a video like three three videos previous or whatever but i ended up getting this lot first and then um started to work my way to complete the lot so here's the, the first issue of liberty meadows <clears throat> frank cho beautiful i couldn't figure out like why i thought um I, I really thought that uh, this girl was really cute and adorable. And I guess what he did, he based her on Linda Carter, I think I've read somewhere. So that explains why I think she's a, a cute and adorable, because I had a huge crush on Linda Carter back in the day. Um, here is another Liberty Meadows. Only thing with these is that they don't have the numbers on the outside, they're on the inside. But oh, well, here, this one is the fourth issue. I think I put them in order. This must be number five. Anyway, his art is really, it's really nice and simple, clean, clean lines. Love it. There's <clears throat> another one. There she is as a cheerleader. <clears throat> another one. There's a nice winter cover. Or building a snowman. Uh, this one, what number is this? Let's see if I can figure it out. Nope. Oh, this one is issue eight, apparently. I, mi I might not have these in order. Oh, yeah, here's number nine. Here's a nice Adam Hughes cover. This one uh, usually goes for a little bit. Um, here's six. Number 22. And this one also says number 22, so I don't know which one is 22. Uh, this one number is number 24. This one says 25 on the back. <clears throat> so yeah, see there, it's a, it's basically, it's a comic strip that is, uh, I don't know, I got to do some more research on it, but I I think he put it, this was in his college paper, maybe. I'm not positive. Uh, here's number 26. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number 16. Number 15. So you see, I got quite a few of these in this lot. And then that's where I said, wow, I could probably finish this. Because I um, I can't remember, again, I, I should have looked it up before I did the video, how many there are in this run. Uh, 17. <clears throat> This one is number 19, 21, 18. <clears throat> and then here they, they moved from Insight Studios into Image. So then here's number 27 from Image. And number 30. And this is the wedding album. So that's all the Liberty Meadows I got. Um, the next thing I have is uh, back to the lots of comics that I ended up, you know, I get them for a certain price. Uh, these were about 80 cents. <clears throat> so I got the Young, Adventure, Young Avengers Presents Patriot. Young Avengers Present Hulkling. Young Avengers Present Wiccan and Speed, and Young Avengers Presents Stature. So those are all 80 cents. I picked up this DC Marvel Crossover Classic number four. I got that for uh, $10. Nobody bid against me. Uh, this was in a random lot. This was 75 cents. It's zero, uh, Gen 13 Zero. Um, which, you know, there's a million of them, but this is a newsstand one, so I was pretty happy to pick that one up. Then, um, Glory number one from Image. Uh, Hulk 425. This has got that cool hologram cover there. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> and then this, you're not going to, because... Again, it was a big batch of comics that they had, it was just like a pile of books and they showed certain ones of them. And then these next ones were in there because um, it just said Marvel, Hulk, X-Men, blah, blah, blah. So this was in there, um, Uncanny X-Men 141. It's not in the best of shape. It's a little dirty, 
but for 75 cents, are you kidding me? What, how, how can I be upset? And then also this was in there too, 174. This is a new stand though. Um, again, not in the best of shape. Uh, 176 was in there. Number 190, 191, all new stands. <clears throat> 208, 209. Here's the um, anniversary cover, 211. And then jumps to 277. Uh, 322. This was in there too, believe it or not. This one's in really nice shape. Wolverine, his solo series, number one for 75 whole cents. <clears throat> Wolverine, number two, 75 cents. Three, four, No, Jill, fix it. Number 10. Number 11. Number 12. Then an Excalibur issue number 6. Excalibur number 8. And then this was in there too. X Factor number 1. Newsstand cover for 75 cents. And then the last batch I got here, <clears throat> I got a couple of, uh, it was a little mini lot of uh, Captain Marvel uh, and the Carol Corps. I got uh, issue number one. Number two. Three. Four. Nine. That's a key. That's got somebody in it. <clears throat> this is a number 10, but it's also the uh, 100th issue of Captain Marvel. I think I showed this in a video before. I got that. I got those in another batch too. But anyway, I, I really love that cover because that's uh, the takeoff on her original series cover. And then here's number 11. Number 12. And number 13. And then I picked this up off of um, eBay. I think it was out of, off of Goodwill. But um, I have one of these already. But I love this. This is very reminiscent of uh, the Origins of Marvel Comics that they did by Stan Lee. And I really love this Bruce Timm cover. But it reprints <clears throat> all of the early origin stories of all these heroes. You know, they have Cat, uh, Hulk. Amazing Fantasy 15, uh, first appearance of Ant-Man, first Fantastic Four. Yeah, let me see. I got this for... Um, $3. So the regular, the cover price on it is $29.95. So I picked that up for $3. Bucks. Um, just really happy to have it. You can never have too many of those uh, reprints of the stories. And then the last batch of books I'm going to show you... <clears throat> is there was a trade paperback hardcover lot of comic uh, books that um, I bid $51 on it. And I thought there's no way that I'm going to get the lot. Somebody's going to well, well bid me, but I guess nobody looked at the lot or what. So um, <clears throat> the, it was six, it was six trades in hardcovers. So the first one in here, I'm going to show you is Superman smashes the clan. So basically what did I just say? I spent $50 on six books. So there's like $8 and change um, for each one of them. So you're like, okay, Superman mas smashes the clan, cover price $7.99. So the big deal. I didn't really make any, save any money on that one. Then the next one is the Flash Volume 1 um, Move Forward. This is $16.99 cover price that I got for $8 and change. Then the next thing in there was Batman R.I.P. So this cover price is $25. So I ended up getting this for $8 and some change. 
Grant Morse, Morrison. Um, then the next book that I have here is Before Watchmen. This is another one. This is $30 cover price. This reprints the uh, Minutemen and Silk Spectre um, miniseries. And then the last two, believe it or not, that were in there that nobody bid on this lot for $50 was... <clears throat> New Frontier, uh, Absolute Edition, like brand new. I mean, it's been opened, but I mean, it's, you know, it's got the slip cover and everything. It's in awesome shape for, it was in the lot. I, <clears throat> I can't really pull out, pull out the camera. So that was $10. So, I mean, you know, the Absolute Edition is what, $100? Yeah, $75. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I got that one for ten dollars, eight dollars and some change, and I also got the world's greatest superheroes, um, the Alex Ross collection of the stories he did for all the DC heroes. That one's fifty dollars cover price, so I got that one for for eight dollars and some change too. And I couldn't believe it. Like I said, I bid on it. I'm like, oh man, I um, I, I have um, one of these that I got a while ago, but it was all the Slip cover thing is all broken and everything. And then um, I never had the new Frontier, so I was really happy to pick that up. But anyway, so I got all six of those books for $8 a piece. So I was super happy and um, glad that when they came, they were what they were in the picture. Because I, like I said, I couldn't believe nobody bid on it. But anyway, um, I'm going to stop there with the, this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment below uh, or like the video. If you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing, as I usually always say. Um, again, I'm on Instagram. If you want to follow me there, um, it's easy as can be, underscore, underscore, underscore. Um, and again, as usual, but when I end the video, I like to thank everybody that has subscribed and Everybody that supported the channel, I've been doing it for a couple years, ever since the pandemic, um, just to keep busy and, and show off some of the stuff I pick up. But um, And also to show you that you can pick up some deals out there if you just look. Um, it's hard, but they're out there. I don't know how these people that do YouTube videos can go into a, a comic book store and still pick up deals because uh, at least the ones around here, they know, most of them know what's going on and you can't really get any like stealth buys as they like to say, but um, I just keep going online and looking at different auction sites and, and looking at lots and sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. Sometimes they come in and they're beat all to crap and then other times they look like they've never been read before. So um, other than just keep keep looking if uh, it, because like I say, you can find some deals out there if you really look. Uh, but other than that, uh, thanks again for watching. I uh, appreciate everybody and uh, the comments and support the channel. And uh, good luck out there hunting for comics, and I will see you all next time. Bye.